Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Nice Guys. The Nice Guys is written and directed by Shane Black. The film stars Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling, and Kim Basinger, and the film is about these two very different men that have to work together to go ahead and solve a case dealing with a porn star that commits suicide. So yeah, they have to go ahead and try to solve this case of what happened, and it does take place in 1970. Los Angeles and going into the nice guys this movie looked so awesome this was definitely one of my most anticipated movies of the summer couldn't wait to see this movie especially because of Jane Black who is a very talented director a uh, very talented writer as well and so with the nice guys I was just hoping to have a really good time with this movie honestly just like with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang which I loved and Iron Man 3 which I liked and I can honestly say coming out of the nice guys I had a freaking blast with it the nice guys is definitely the Shane Black movie I was hoping it would be. This is definitely the movie that has the Shane Black stamp all over it. This is a formula that Shane Black uses quite often where you have two men having to work on a case and really when you use that formula over and over again you would think that would be tiring and it honestly could have but because of Shane Black handling that kind of formula so well he always finds a way to make it still feel refreshing. The Nice Guys has incredible acting, incredible cinematography, incredible score, magnificent writing, and the direction is absolutely awesome. This movie screams awesome, and that's why, honestly, I do think The Nice Guys is hands down one of the most fun times I've had the theater in 2016, and it is definitely one of the best movies to come out in 2016. Of course, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. These two were amazing. They make such a fantastic duo. And these two work so well together that I would actually love to see them work on another film together. That's how good these guys are. I don't know about a sequel to Nice Guys. I wouldn't really want to see a sequel to this film. I think this film holds on its own as a standalone story, but like work just on a different movie together because these two, they just know how to interact with each other. It's the same way with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer where those two just know how to interact with each other and Shane Black brings that exact same magic here in the nice guys when it comes to Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling these two were just so fantastic and Ryan Gosling in terms of comic relief oh my goodness he absolutely steals the show we all know Ryan Gosling can handle comedy and that's the great thing about Ryan Gosling he has so much range to him as an actor he can do drama he can do comedy he can handle pretty much anything and he absolutely nails the comedic aspect in The Nice Guys. Performances are all great, but especially when it really comes to Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. But I also have to give credit to the little girl that plays Ryan Gosling's daughter, Holly. Yeah, I thought she was really good. And you know how child performances can be. There can be good ones, there can be okay ones, and then there could be the really terrible ones. She's actually one of the really good child performances. I was actually really impressed with how she played Holly and how Holly would interact with her father, Holland, Ryan Gosling's character's name. It looks like you're in the 1970s. Wow, does Los Angeles just look so beautiful. I really love the setting, you know, just like with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, it is a film noir and the film really handles that very well. I love that. It is so well directed by Shane Black. I mean, Shane Black, wow. He just knows how to direct movies. And honestly, after being impressed with all three of his movies, Kiss, Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3, The Nice Guys, I want to see this guy direct more movies. Please, Shane Black, direct more movies. You are honestly a directing genius. Seriously, I consider him now one of the best directors working today, as well as, of course, best writers. But that's the thing, he's always been a great writer because he's been writing longer than he has been directing. But he definitely nails when it comes to both the writing and direction. And I just continue to be impressed by this guy's work right here. It looks so beautiful, he uses a lot of great shots. 
the action sequences absolutely are very exciting to watch. Um, not really a whole lot of action. It's not one of those action-packed movies, but when the action is used in this film, it is used so well, and it's a lot of fun to watch, and it still manages to use some comedic parts into the film. And speaking of comedic, I will say I really enjoyed the comedy. Although, I will say this about The Nice Guys, I don't think it's like a hilarious film. I don't think the comedy is as present as it is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Because Kiss Kiss Bang Bang felt like for almost the entirety of that film, it was just like hitting with comedy after comedy after comedy. Nice Guys doesn't really do that. It just kind of throws comedy. Then it focuses on the case and it focuses on another comedy bit. Then it just kind of focuses on the case. So it's like Nice Guys adds something funny, then takes a break, then adds something funny. That's how it is with the film. So maybe not as much comedic moments as I thought, but but there's definitely enough in The Nice Guys to where you can call it a comedy because when the comedy is there in The Nice Guys, you know, for the most part, it definitely worked for me. And I definitely did find myself just laughing in some moments of The Nice Guys. So comedy was definitely really great. Shane Black knew how to blend the action, the comedy, and the whole mystery case behind this movie very well. And the plot of them solving this case because of a porn star, I just think that's honestly pretty creative right there. And that's the thing about Shane Black. He knows how to get really creative with his movies. It has that great 1970s vibe, which honestly, since the movie takes place in 1977, the score fits for the overall tone and style that Shane Black was going for. So I thought the score was really great. The execution in this film is absolutely awesome. The film never feels boring in my opinion. I'm never bored watching The Nice Guys. I was always really invested what whatever happened in this film, whether there's a comedic moment happening or an actual action-packed moment happening or even like when they're trying to solve this murder case which I do think was very interesting I really love the storyline behind this film how it was written was honestly just so refreshing to watch and the third act was just so awesome I really had a blast with the third act that was just so great right there the nice guys however does have certain flaws to it not a whole lot just like a few flaws in my opinion and one of those flaws is actually Ryan Gosling daughter Holly. Now Holly, I actually really liked Holly. I thought the movie fleshed her out very well. They got to flesh out her side of the story and where she's coming from and they do the same with Ryan Gosling which I did forget to mention. I like that the movie fleshed Ryan Gosling out and Russell Crowe out. You get a huge understanding of where all three of these characters are coming from but back to Holly. I really enjoyed Holly. The problem is that there are so many times where Ryan Gosling tells Holly, go back home, don't get involved, but Holly, being stubborn as hell, doesn't listen to her daddy, and it's because of that. She gets into so many dangerous situations, and it's all like, even when she's done being in that dangerous situation, she continues to be in another one, and another one, no matter what. She was just too stubborn to listen to her dad. She She's not stupid, okay? She's not a dumb character. It's just that she was so stubborn to listen to her own dad. It's because of that she gets herself into so many dangerous situations. And I'm kind of going, oh, come on now, really? The whole movie surrounds Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling trying to find this girl named Amelia. Once we finally get to meet the character of Amelia, um... Yeah, I didn't really care about Amelia, honestly. She was just, she's really just a plot device. That's all she is. They, she wasn't really a strong character. Whenever something would happen, I just never really felt anything towards her. So yeah, Amelia didn't really care for her as a character. Kim Bossinger is in this film just for a couple of scenes and honestly, what was the point of her being in this film? Like, she really had nothing to do. She was very underdeveloped, and I just didn't see the point of Kim Bossinger in this film. Not only that, but something about her acting, I don't know what it was, but her acting really was not that great great in this film. And the final problem I did have with the nice guys is that once we do get to the twist that is revealed in the third act, I honestly thought it was predictable. Like, I just saw that twist coming a mile away. Overall, The Nice Guys is flat out amazing. It is one of the best movies to come out 
in 2016 without a doubt. It's an outstanding movie. 1977 looks beautiful. The score is great. The performances are amazing. The script is so clever. The dialogue is fantastic. The pacing just keeps going and going and going and I was constantly entertained with the nice guys from beginning to end and that's why I'm going to give the nice guys three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Nice Guys. And so far, what's your favorite film that Shane Black has both written and directed? Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3, or The Nice Guys? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!